Hey guys and welcome back In this video We will talk about configuring automatic reordering In Maximum Okay Okay let's go to Inventory Module Inventory application So let's First, let's create a new inventory from store rooms. Since we don't have any inventory here, so let's create a new one. We will call it. It's related to site one of organization power power store. Let's say site one store. Site one store. Okay, save it. Default store checkbox by default. Okay. Let's come back to inventory application. Should see this store here. Okay, no items. Then now in this store okay so let's go to store room okay associate an item with this store room okay let's go to item master application for the items that we've created before let's associate it to store room okay refresh now it's here okay it exists should be exist for site one okay let's go to site one and see it let's choose this store no items in this store okay okay since I don't have uh, all these actions privilege so I added it to this user so let's add item to store room let's select our store room okay limit cost let's 100 default bin a b example current balance say lot uh, issue net. okay i don't have any issue unit for now okay so let's create issue unit for first Okay, I created one from here. I'm to fire of measure kilogram. Okay, again, let's add it item to store room. Select our store room. Okay, cost 100 AB current balance. Let's say 20. This unit will be kilogram and also order unit will be kilogram okay okay if you see this message okay 
okay if you see the previous message go to short of accounts application under financial module go to select action validate option make sure to uncheck this it was checked so the message was appear so I removed it now now the item is added to the inventory let's see it okay now it's in the store room site one let's go to inventory again select site one okay select this item okay let's make a reorder now for this item additional lead time in days will be let's say five days okay don't ignore the order point okay okay we could associate an email address here and it should be defined in Robert is MXC admin email and email SMTB host as we will see okay we can check this according to our needs okay it's run the order okay now the order process is in progress if you spe specify an email address in the order stuff an email will be sent to when the process is complete now it's run automatically okay so when we go to this item okay current balance is 15 okay so we should define the order point okay now it's checked order point it will be say five okay it's safe it will be on five need days okay will be also five okay okay now it will be defined okay see the default one here is going to be as we described in the last session okay you know okay go back to this video and see it when we associated default vendor to this item you will see in the card above okay so please go and see it okay so now last step is we will go to the cron task and set up the order Cron task to run automatically okay so let's go to platform module cron task setup application search for the order now click new row reorder schedule when we should schedule this every day every every week every month whatever so let's say it every day review this is our review to so check every day when this item is decreased by or equal to five item this current task will be work okay So, X admin, don't forget to activate it. Okay, you can set up this parameter also. So, for example, include soft reservation. 
when the order current task ignores the order point of the store room. Okay, for soft reservation, zero means false, one means true. Ignore order point. Okay, now it's ignore. But if you want, you could hit zero. Okay, also look fine. You should specify it. Okay, email also. Admin email or okay the email you want to, to send the boy to it or the result to it okay okay that is the email address where the order result is sent to okay this is also direct issue Okay, usage agreement, okay, lead time also, you can add lead time here, and also you can add store room, so by default zero, we can add it five, as we did, okay, and that is the list of store room. Okay, we should specify our storeroom and add it to this property. Okay. At each run. Okay, a list of storeroom that the reorder current task will process at each run. So we should add our storeroom here. Site one store. Okay, that's all guys for this video, you now will know how to create new item, add it to inventory, create reorder, make this reorder run automatic using current task, a lot of stuff in this video, don't forget to subscribe and share it, thank you.